All right, we're getting close to the end of 2015, so it's time for the uh, my top 10 figures for 2015. Now, the, this list is uh, based on a couple of criteria. Um, one is uh, value of the figure, um, the playability of the figure, and also a little bit of, uh, well, <laughs> Majority of it is based off of my personal preference. So here we go. Number 10, we have this uh, Rebel Tech Venom Snake. Now, this figure is uh, only about uh, four and a half inches in height, but uh, he comes with uh, a lot of accessories. And here you can see a bunch of hands, a knife, a uh, uh, machine gun, a uh, rocket launcher, a uh, pistol, and a communicator, and goggles, and stuff like that. So this figure comes with a lot of stuff, and the articulation of uh, of this uh, Venom Snake figure, it's uh, it's quite high. Uh, it's a Rebel Tech, so there's a lot of ratcheting joints. And even though this figure is small, it's only four and a half inches in height. Uh, it's not their normal line, uh, the six inch, because uh, uh, it's a brand new line. They started uh, with the four and a half inches uh, uh, size uh, figures, and um, even though it's so small. Um, the figure does uh, still retain all the all the great articulation, and also uh, he has moving eyeball, which is really really impressive for something this small. So um, that's why this figure is my number ten. Even though it's kind of pricey, I think it's around forty ish to fifty somewhere around there. But uh, with all the accessories and uh, posability, and also comes with the base and everything, and the game did really uh, pretty well, I guess. Uh, so that's why this is my number 10. And you can't go a year without another Iron Man figure. And uh, my ninth, uh, the ninth figure on my list is uh, the SH uh, Figure Arts Iron Man Mark 43. Now the movie did uh, very, very well. And uh, this uh, Mark uh, 43 uh, did a lot of action sequence and... Um, and I'm happy with the design of uh, the colors and... Uh, well, this. Uh, basically, this is just a Mark 42 uh, recolored of Mark 42, but uh, he does uh, like like all SH figure arts uh, uh, action figures. Uh, they do have a great range of motion and uh, uh, articulation wise. You could see he is really really impressive for the fact that he could do a landing pose with uh, with ease and a uh, very um, very natural too. So um, that's why this is my number. Uh, this is the ninth figure on my list. Uh, the price is uh, about a good. Um, uh, depends on where you get them. I, th I want to say about fifty to sixty bucks somewhere around there. That's why this is kind of low on my list. Uh, my ninth because of the pricing. So there's my number nine. Eighth on my list would be Star Wars uh, Force Awakens Black Series. Um, I'm counting all of them as one uh, item because uh, they're all great uh, articulation wise. Uh, some could be a little bit better, uh, like the Stormtroopers uh, made some modification to make them even better. And uh, the use of cloth uh, for some of these characters like uh, Kylo Ren here, uh, which really helps uh, the character and um, also the design of the, of the toy. And uh, everything else about this uh, line, it's 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 pretty good. Uh, some could have been a little bit better, especially the paint job on uh, on some of these uh, characters. Uh, it could have been done a little bit better, but overall, as a um, as a line, um, I think uh, they did a decent to a pretty good job with it. So uh, and then and. And also the the movie did uh, extremely well, so uh, that helps a lot too. So that's why um, the Black Series uh, Force Awakened uh, figures would be my uh, uh, number eight. And the number seventh on my list is the NECA Dog Alien. Uh, I believe this came out, I think January or February of uh, 2015, and. Um, I really, really like uh, Xenomorphs and uh, Dog Alien is my favorite, so that's why this is on my list as number seven. Uh, as far as articulation, he's uh, mm, above average, uh, not as good as the SH Figuarts uh, uh, Xenomorphs, 
but uh, for the price you're paying, this is about uh, 20 bucks. It has a really good range of motion and also a uh, articulated tail, and uh, the design of it is nice. And yeah, and uh, for 20 bucks, I mean you can't go wrong with this, and uh, it's a pretty good size too. So this that's why the, the NECA Dog Alien is my number seven. All right, six on my list would be Play Arts Kai Darth Maul, and uh, this freak figure is awesome. Uh, it's good size, but uh, with Play Arts Kai stuff, uh, you do pay a little bit more. Uh, this is almost, uh, I believe, this is a little, uh, roughly around 100, 120, somewhere around there. Uh, but it does have great articulation, uh, even though it has plastic uh, skirts, uh, it doesn't impede with the articulation, which is something I really, really. Uh, am impressed with and uh, the design of it's nice uh, even though it's not true to the movie uh, they took some um, uh, uh, it, it has some uh, stylized look to it but uh, still it's an awesome figure and uh, the posability on it is uh, it's quite good uh, that's why this is my um, six this is that's why this is a six on my list uh, because of uh, how much you could do with it and fifth on the list is another Play Arts Kai figure, and it's uh, Cloud Strife from the Final Fantasy. I want to say, I think it's seven. Final Fantasy seven, Cloud Strife, and uh, now this character it's based off of the um, the movie Advent Children, and uh, the design of it is amazing. It looks exactly like how he did uh, in the movie, and uh, I believe this might be the first time uh, we have seen uh, cloth. A soft good uh, being used uh, for a Play Arts Kai character, uh, and uh, I think they did a really good job with it. Uh, the sheer amount of accessories that uh, this figure comes with, the amount of swords and uh, an extra arm, uh, makes this figure quite uh, quite a collectible uh, for any. Uh, Final Fantasy um, fans out there, so that's why this. Uh, well, it is kind of pricey though. On um, this figure, it's I want to say almost one fifty. Uh, it is pricey, but it is something that I really enjoy messing with, and uh, even just have them standing around gives you a great look already. So that's why this is uh, fifth on my list. And for from my list is this uh, Mesco 112 Batman, and uh, this is a uh, six-inch uh, figure, and uh, it has uh, a lot of soft goods. You can see he has a cloth cape and also an outfit that is made entirely of cloth, and um, it hides all the joints really, really well, and um, very durable, and it feels very, very solid. Uh, which uh, sometimes uh, with figures uh, you tend to worry about um, breakage but uh, with this one I didn't have any problems with it and um, uh, I like the, I like the design of it is based off of the uh, Dark Knight Returns comics and um, it looks absolutely amazing and uh, articulation wise is uh, top-notch as well now this figure is gonna set you back um, well, initially when it came out, it was around sixty-five or so. But right now, I think they're all, they might be all sold out. I'm not sure. There might be one version left uh, somewhere floating around, but uh, most of them are already sold out. And uh, if you can find it, I highly do recommend uh, buying one of these. And um, yeah, again, retails for about sixty-five, but right now it might be higher depending on which version you want to get. And uh, that's why this figure is uh, fourth on my list. Now third on my list is uh, another figure that I really enjoy. Uh, even though it doesn't have great articulation, uh, but the fact that um, the head sculpt is really, really amazing. And this figure is Rick Grimes from uh, McFarlane Toys. And this is the Series 8, series eight uh, Rick Grimes. Uh, and... Uh, just look at that um, head sculpt. It's based off of the Walking Dead series, uh, the TV series, and uh, arti again, articulation is not the greatest, but uh, for what it is, uh, he can move uh, quite well. He can sit down and uh, uh, do some poses, but uh, there's no dynamic poses with these figures. But 
the sculpt itself it's quite amazing and uh, taking some really really impressive photos with it and uh, he actually looks like a mini version of the real actor so um, that's why this this particular figure is third on my list so I had a hard time uh, deciding uh, which is my number one and my number two uh, since they're both kind of from the same uh, same same uh, same universe I decided to go with this one but uh, it's very tight um, this and the number one uh, the second one uh, on my list would be Venom from Play Arts Kai uh, the reason I chose this figure to be my number two uh, because uh, the price is a little bit high this is uh, uh, a little over a hundred bucks about 120 130 somewhere around there but uh, it is a big figure it's about almost 10 inches in height and uh, it is quite a bulky figure and uh, I do like Venom quite a lot I like the bulkiness of Venom and uh, I think Play Arts Kai did a great job with it and uh, I'm even okay with uh, the the stylized version of it because uh, you can see the um, the spider on his chest it's totally different the, the whole design is different but uh, that head sculpt they provided uh, he comes with two one it's open mouth with his tongue sticking out that one is also amazing looking uh, but I decided to go with this one uh, for the purpose of this video and uh, accessory wise he does come with uh, a, a few items not a whole lot uh, but uh, he is a very very impressive figure and uh, I do enjoy messing with this and taking photos of this uh, figure quite a lot and uh, articulation wise he's top notch uh, basically you can do whatever you want with him uh, uh, a spider-man could do he could most likely could achieve as well so this is that's why this is my number two and number one on my list, of course, is Carnage from the Marvel Select line. Uh, this figure comes with a lot of stuff. Uh, for 25 bucks, you get a total of three heads, and then uh, a bunch of hands, and then a bunch of uh, symbiotes, and uh, all that good stuff. Uh, some blades, and uh, an axe, and all that. Um, now, figure-wise, this is absolutely amazing. Uh, articulation is quite good. Uh, I believe uh, last year I put um venom from the select line to be my number one and this year carnage is going to be number one because of the uh the price you pay uh basically you get a uh, greater value for your money uh than uh, venom uh from the play arts kai that's why i put uh venom as number two while carnage from select is number one so there you have it, my top 10 for 2015. Uh, hopefully you had a great 2015 and uh, and uh, I hope we get some uh, amazing figures for 2016. I already know uh, some of the stuff we're getting is going to be amazing like the uh, uh, Hulkbuster from uh, SH Figure Arts. Uh, that thing is going to be amazing but it's going to be pricey too and uh, some other stuff. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get more uh, SH Figure Arts stuff and uh, some Revel Tech stuff and uh, uh, Hasbro is gonna produce a bunch of stuff I'm sure and uh, overall it's gonna uh, it's it's been a great year 2015 and uh, hopefully we'll see some more great stuff uh, coming 2016 and uh, so there you go thanks for watching